Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today in the shop, we have this lovely Tesla right here behind me. This thing is cool because it's matte black. However, this thing is absolutely filthy. It's covered with sand, dirt, grime, you name it. This thing was parked in a parking lot near the beach and over the weekend we had some heavy winds here in LA and it caused for all the winds to pick up all that sand and dirt and whatever was in its way. It pretty much landed on the surface of the Tesla and as you guys can see this thing is absolutely filthy. This car is supposed to have a matte black look. This thing looks brown right now. So today we're going to be giving this Tesla a nice deep clean using some specific products for this matte finish. But before we do that we're going to actually going to start with the wheels. So stay tuned we'll be right right back. All right guys, so we're here with the wheels. Now, luckily the wheels aren't as bad as the actual, you know, finish of the vehicle itself. The wheels do have a light layer of brake dust. So the products that we have right here, well, the first thing is our brand new rim pack wheel brushes. Now, these are our new reach around brushes. They have a unique angle design right here that allows you to easily get into the wheels so that you have ease of use. You know, you can go ahead and angle this in there. You know, in some cases you can just pretty much stand up and actually just use the angle of the brush to make sure to get deep inside the wheel without you even having to crouch down. The material of this brush is a synthetic wool material, which works out great for us because it's gonna be sensitive enough to use on these matte finish wheels, but they're also gonna be durable enough to remove all that heavy grime and brake dust that's on them. So we're gonna be using this combination of wheel brushes. As you can see, there's two of them. We have a small one and a bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these down into my bucket so they can kind of just lather in the water. And then the other brush that I have right here is our stiff bristle brush. This brush is the brush that I'm gonna to use to agitate the surface of the tires because we wanna make sure that whenever we apply our dressing after we're done washing the car, we wanna make sure that it sticks. So using a stiff bristle brush with a nice strong cleaner, it's gonna work out amazing so that you have a nice bond of tire application once you're done. So I'm gonna set that one into my bucket as well. And then finally, I have our cleaner. Now, whenever you're working with sensitive finish wheels or maybe you just don't know the finish of the wheel itself, then we recommend going with the product like Diablo Wheel Gel. Reason for it is because Diablo wheel gel is safe for all wheel finishes. So this product works out great, no matter whatever the finish of the wheel is. So it's also a gel. So it also gives it the lubricity and the suds so that you can easily pull off brake dust without a scratch in the finish of your wheel. In this case, we have these matte kind of satin, kind of semi-gloss kind of look. I'm not really too worried about what it is. I just know that Diablo wheel gel is gonna be safe for me to use on it. I also have it diluted in a secondary sprayer bottle with our ducky foamer sprayer tip. Now I use this right here because it makes the best use out of my Diablo wheel gel. Reason for it is because whenever you spray your product out of this nozzle right here, it actually activates your suds for you. So if you're using a, you know, a gel product, a soap or anything like that, this filter is gonna help you aerate it. So it shoots it more in a foamy manner as opposed to just shooting the product itself. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Diablo wheel gel. And since right here, I just have a bucket, my brushes are in there and it's nothing but water and a dirt trap. I'm just gonna put one ounce to just activate my suds in my bucket and get my, my brushes nice and lathered up. So just gonna go ahead and put one ounce. That's all I need. Grab my pressure washer gun. Now I'm not gonna turn on the pressure washer just because I don't wanna make a mess. And just because the pressure alone, it's gonna activate the suds for me. All right, so now that we have that activated, now we can go ahead and give these wheels a pre-rinse just to knock off as much loose dirt, debris, and brake dust as we can. All right guys, so now that we have that rinsed off, it's time to start cleaning. So the first thing that I'm gonna grab is my Diablo wheel gel diluted in the three to one dilution in my ducky spray nozzle. And I'm gonna go ahead and saturate the surface of the wheel. As you guys can see, it shoots it in a nice foamy manner so that it activates the suds and it also helps you know pull off and dissolve any kind of brake dust and grime that's on the surface of the wheel and also make sure to get inside the barrel so that we get that nice cleaning power with our rim pack wheel brushes all right now i'm going to grab my rim pack of wheel brushes now i'm going to grab the long one here so that I can do the majority of the barrel. Now this is gonna work out great to get nice and deep in there. So check this out. It has that nice angled design so we can easily just pretty much stick it in there and get all in there and give it a nice deep clean. We're gonna start from the top and work our way around towards the bottom on both sides. 
ensuring that we get a nice deep clean. So the reason why there's two different uh, sizes for this wheel brush is because we want to make sure that we have the maximum versatility and ease of use to clean these hard to reach areas. So I'm getting here to the brake caliper. It's a little tighter in this area. So this brush is not necessarily gonna fit. And that's when my smaller one comes in handy. So I'm gonna grab the smaller angled brush and I'm gonna go ahead and get nice and in there. And as you guys can see, it fits perfectly. And I can reach nice and deep in there to make sure that all that brake dust and grime that's in there gets knocked right off. So I'll set that one back down, get some more cleaning suds on a big one and then continue with cleaning the rest of the wheel. All right, so now that we're done cleaning the barrel of the wheel, now I'm gonna need a hand. Whoa. So I have our new, brand new Stranger wash mitt right here. Now this thing is awesome because it's a nice microfiber wash mitt that contours to your whole five fingers so that you can easily clean the face of the wheel and or any other hard to reach areas such as behind your spokes. You know, I know a lot of people don't clean those. So having a helping detailing hand is definitely gonna come in handy. Sorry for all the puns, but it's definitely gonna come in handy to make sure that we get a nice deep clean throughout the entire wheel. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my hand and just spray a little bit more onto the spokes of the wheel. And I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it into the water bucket here. And all I'm gonna do is agitate the surface of the spokes of the wheel. Now this thing works out great because I can agitate all the dirt and brake dust that's on the wheel. And I can also bend it around so that I get the backside of these spokes. You know, like I said, most people don't often clean these areas. So this thing is definitely gonna come in hand so that you can easily, you know, clean these areas without any kind of, you know, struggling. It's super soft, it's microfiber. So it's not gonna scratch any of the finish of your wheels and it's ultimately just you know very convenient to use it is also two-sided as well so you can simply grab your wash mitt and just kind of flip it around and continue cleaning the surface of the wheel so that you don't have to come back and forth from your bucket to your wash mitt as much all right so now that we're done cleaning the face of the wheel i can take off my stranger wash mitt set that down and now i just got to clean the tire so i have my stiff bristle brush right here have my diablo wheel cleaner gel just going to spray the tire spray my brush and give this a light little agitation and remember this is going to help us so that we knock off a lot of this dirt and grime that's on the tire so that whenever we apply our dressing it's going to bond directly and adhere directly to the rubber as opposed to any kind of previous dressings and oils and grime that's sitting on the surface all right so now that that's done we're done with this wheel we're going to give it a rinse and check out the results All right, guys, and there you guys have it. Looks very clean, looks very nice to me. We're gonna continue with cleaning the rest of the wheels, get those wheels all wrapped up, and then we can begin by washing the car. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right guys, we're finally back. Those wheels are finally clean and now it's time for us to give this ride a nice deep clean. So right here in front of me, I have our newest Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. Now this cannon is epic. I mean, check it out from the nozzle to the bottle itself. This thing is heavy duty and it's gonna help us achieve that nice thick, rich layer of cleaning suds to deep clean this ride. So to accompany it with, I have our meticulous matte auto wash. Now this soap is specifically made for matte or satin finishes. So if you have a matte finished vehicle, like a wrap or a painted finish, then this is gonna go ahead and preserve it by not adding any kind of unwanted shine. And it's just gonna simply clean it up without installing any kind of scratches or swirls. So it's super slick so that you don't inflict any kind of damage on your wrap. So now I'm gonna set up my two bucket method here. Now I have my two dirt traps right here. So these dirt traps, they go at the bottom of your bucket and what they do is they help kind of filter out any kind of abrasives that are on your wash mitt. So whenever you're going back and forth from your car to your buckets, all that stuff, all those abrasive particles, it's gonna get filtered through these dirt traps and it's gonna hold the dirt and grime at the bottom of your bucket so that it doesn't resurface. So what I'm gonna do now is put my sleeves up real quick, grab our dirt traps, and then we're gonna go ahead and dunk these in at an angle. And then 
once we get towards the bottom of the bucket, you want to go ahead and set those down flat. And you've got yourself a nice airtight cushion so not, that dirt trap is not going to resurface whenever you go ahead and put pressure into the bucket. So it's going to stay at the bottom so it stays filtering that dirt whilst we're washing our vehicle. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my big mouth foam cannon here. I'm going to open it up, take off the nozzle here. So now I'm going to grab our meticulous mat auto wash and put about two ounces into our canister here. So two ounces, that's great. Now we can go ahead and grab our nozzle here, set that down, and this cool new hex design, it makes it super easy for you to simply turn your nozzle back onto your bottle. Check that out. Fits nice and snug. Go ahead and tighten that up, and you're ready to start foaming. But before we start foaming, we want to make sure that we rinse off as much of this dirt off as we can before we foam it and we go to our wash process because we want to minimize the amount of contaminants that could potentially be on the surface before we get to that stage. So I'm going to turn on the pressure washer, give this car a quick little rinse, and then we'll be right back with you guys for the foaming process. Now, before I do start foaming, I do kind of want to break this down just a little bit for you guys to, for you guys to understand why we foam and you know what this foam cannon does for your vehicle. So this foam cannon, it creates tons of cleaning suds. Now those cleaning suds help uplift dirt and grime from the surface, which pretty much pull that stuff off. So it kind of encapsulates it and kind of guides it off the surface of your paint much more gently than you would than if you were just to grab like a wash man and go straight into it. So that layer is definitely gonna help us with preventing scratches, swirls, and pretty much preserving the overall value of our vehicle by minimizing the amount of chance of scratches and swirls on the vehicle. Now, the foam cannon itself has a two inch diameter nozzle, which is gonna definitely come in handy so that we get that nice, thick, rich layer of suds. Now, depending on the, you know, the, the angle that we wanna shoot in, this nozzle allows you to go ahead and shoot in different angles and cover different coverage of vehicles. So whether you have a big car or a small car, you can adjust this nozzle right here. So if you wanna go ahead and cover the widest angle, you're gonna go ahead and tighten that up all the way. And that's gonna give you the widest angle possible. It also utilizes our one quarter inch quick connect fitting, which works out great because you can go ahead and grab your snubby, pop off whatever pressure washer tip that you have, grab your torque big mouth and it slides right in just like that and you're ready to start foaming. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the pressure washer, get a nice thick rich layer of suds going on in this car and then we'll be right back with you guys to show you guys the wiping process. <laughs> All right guys, so now that the car is all nice and foamed up, it's time to pull out our little five finger friend all over again. So we're gonna grab our stranger wash mitt. Now, don't worry guys, this is another stranger wash mitt. This is a separate one from the one that I'm using from the wheels. So this is a brand new stranger wash mitt. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it into my soap bucket here. And the cool thing about the stranger wash mitt is that since you have your full five fingers on there, you can actually contour to any kind of edges and curves that this vehicle has. So as you guys can see, this hood it has a nice little contour right here on the hood. So I can easily just grasp my fingers around that contour and work my way down. And this is utilizing the same microfiber technology as the wash mitts. So this is super soft and super safe for your paint or your matte finish in this case to safely wipe it down. And like I said, it's super easy and super convenient to get into these hard to reach areas. As you guys can see, we have the grill right here. I can easily get into there and make sure that I get into these hard to reach areas such as this little crevice right here. I can get my pinky, stick it in there, get a nice little clean and achieve the deepest clean possible. So this works out phenomenal for all you guys who have cars that have a lot of intricate areas, hard to reach areas, you know, cars that have a lot of uh, curves, such as like Porsches, stuff like that. This wash mitt, it's gonna work out amazing. So once you do a little section, you can come back to your rinse bucket, go ahead and dunk it into there, get yourself a nice little rinse going on, knock off any kind of abrasives that may have gone on onto your wash mitt. Ring that right out. Come back to your soap bucket, grab some more cleaning suds, 
and then continue with washing the rest of every vehicle. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna continue with washing the rest of the vehicle. I'm gonna work my way around from top to bottom, ensuring that we get a nice deep clean, and we'll be right back with you guys to rinse it off. All right guys, and there you have it. The car is nice and squeaky clean. As you guys saw, we completed a whole transformation on this car from filthy and it's looking great now. But now all we have to do is dry it. So I'm gonna dry it using a woolly mammoth drying towel. Make sure to dry it up, get it all nice and clean and finally dry and on its way. So if you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys liked any of the new products that we used today in this video, make sure to visit our website, chemicalguys.com or swing by your local detail garage to pick yours up today. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and I'll see you guys next time.